Okay, hello, this is Bug Labs. Welcome, everybody. I have got a new computer, and I have also decided that I don't want to have any GTK3 applications installed. I don't want the GTK3 libraries installed either, uh, and this has meant some adjustment I needed uh, to do uh, regarding what um, applications I usually use, you know. For example, I'm using uh, LXDE uh, as the desktop environment because it's uh, GTK2. I uh, currently using uh, Space FM. I have a couple of other file managers. I'm test trying them out, and I'm yeah, whatever. That's a different video, a different topic. Uh, I'm also using Pale Moon, as you can see, and Sublime Text 2 actually because Sublime Text 3 uses uh, 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 GTK3 for for the UI, like the the context menus and stuff. The same thing with Vivaldi and Chromium-based browsers. It's actually Chromium who, who, who is bundled with GTK3. And this also means all Electron apps uh, uh, require GTK3. Uh, so I went with Pale Moon because Pale Moon is a great web browser and it, uh, it is kind of uh, GTK2 by default. Um, so, uh, and I just got this working here. It feels, feels great. I got a vertical uh, tab bar that, yeah, it doesn't look, it, it's not the prettiest tab bar, but it doesn't look insane. Uh, and it kind of works now. And I would like to make a little video on how to set it up to, to achieve uh, a tab bar like this. Um, because it's not super easy to do it. So, First, let's uh, let's uninstall it, so we can do it from scratch. Here, these are all the uh, plugins here. Now, I have been uh, like uh, installing <laughs> plugins like a maniac here, just trying out stuff. I cannot recommend uh, all the extensions I have here, whatever. But uh, the extensions we will use in this video is Chrome Navigator. So. Uh, that can just be installed here. It's not that interesting to see the installation thing. Uh, let's see, there's some more. Extension preferences menu. I, I would like to show you uh, this. Or whatever. Let's keep it installed also, but I can show you anyways. <laughs> you will need a Stylum if you're using Pale Moon, which is a stylish uh, uh, fork. So install that. It's not that much to say about that either, uh, but be sure to have that installed. Um, and then tab kit 2 here is what we will uh, use. I think I need to remove it because I have changed the source. Yes, people, we have to go into the source code and, and manipulate it to, to be able to get a, a tab bar like this. And I think that if I remove this, and reinstall it. We we also let's restart here to see if we get the default uh, tab bar. So I can also prove why this is an insane. Uh, uh, what, how can anyone use a tab bar, uh, horizontal tab bar like this? It's like impossible to navigate and. You don't know what part of the tab bar you're. What it's like? Why well, didn't I have a YouTube here somewhere? Where is it? I was on YouTube. Uh, uh, there it uh, is, is. Worthless, worthless uh, um, uh, um, design to have a vertical or horizontal tab bar. And it looks now like, um, I think Edge have it by default, so you can add, add a vertical tab bar. And Vivaldi, Vivaldi's vertical tab bar is really, really nice. And I, I haven't tried the Edge uh, version, uh, I don't know. But uh, I think this will be like the default soon. And it will definitely be default in, in all web browsers uh, to have a vertical tab bar because it's uh, superior. Okay, get add-ons. Um, and then there is one that's called bookmarks and tabs. And here you find tab kit 2. Install now. Yes, install it now. And then you have to restart to have it 
um, take effect, so to speak. And I think we will get a welcome page now. Ah, great, it also looks uh, wrong here. No, we didn't get that first first run. But as you can see, now it doesn't look uh, as good as it did uh, prior. Also, I should disable the, the style sheet I have written for this. Uh, manage styles, tabs, disable. There, this is how it looks. By default, um, uh, 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 uh. Ah. no. Okay, we have installed this. Um, then I told you about this uh, extensions uh, preferences menu. That is this extension that I have here. Uh, which is uh, kind of neat because it instead of opening this page and going into the preferences buttons here which is quite annoying to do when you want to configure the extensions you can install this extensions uh, preferences menu and you will get a toolbar uh, um, button and if you are using pentadactyl like I do you will not see that toolbar button so to, to see it you have to get into the customize mode I'm not sure how to do that now um, there, just click somewhere, get to customize, and you will see that uh, this preferences menu is probably here or something like that. I like to place it here so I can see it because I don't show these to toolbars otherwise. Um, and when you have that, you can choose tab kit to get the preferences for, for tab kit, which is actually in a I haven't set up the window rules and stuff here yet on, on this computer, so this should open as a floating window. Um, okay. Yeah, I can see now that it still saved uh, uh, the settings I had, uh, the old settings, uh, these normal settings. It, it also have this turned on by default, so it uh, you see it indents uh, child tabs. I, I I have never gotten used to this, and it's also annoying when you when you want a really small tab bar that you only shows the the icon. Uh, so I disabled this, and I think it also have this uh, tab bar coloring or tab group. I, I don't know. Th this could maybe be useful but I want to disable it. It also have this enabled by default so it's a search so you can search in the tabs which also kind of don't work when you want a tab bar that's this big so I disabled that as well. Uh, and here tab minimum width this is the problem you know 50 that that's too much also, we should close some tabs, and this is a bit janky, this uh, resizing uh, thing here, so, so you have to be very careful when you're uh, using that. Let's close a bunch of these paid moon tabs here, so we don't get the scroll bars, because then it's easier to see where it breaks. This is, uh, you see, the tab is uh, max width 50, so when I try to resize this below 50, it, it's like... We don't see the right edge of the tab. I can still resize resize it like this, but you see, it, it doesn't look look right. We don't get the, like the right edge of the tab uh, buttons or or what to call it here. Um, so I found this other uh, uh, um, extension called Chrome Navigator. I'm not sure. Maybe there is a better way to do this. Uh, it was much easier to do things like this in 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 Vivaldi actually. But Chrome uh, Navigator, we can open the, the extension page here, is a tool uh, that uh, lets you explore the, the, um, yeah, the, the different uh, uh, resources that, that uh, both Pale Moon and uh, Install Extensions uses. Uh, when you have installed it, it's kind of secret because you find it here in the Tools menu and then Explore Chrome. 
So start that, and that will take some time here. It needs to cache uh, all all the resources. It is actually quite slow, and it also the whole browser kind of hangs when you start this. But don't worry, soon we will see the listing. And there it is. There is our Chrome Navigator, and here you can see all, all kinds of of uh, like extensions here and and. Uh, um, the different uh, resources they use. They are uh, uh, often located in the content uh, uh, folder or directory. So let's find tab kit here and then content and you can find the file here tab kit JS. This is like the whole extension basically. You select maybe I, I I don't know I just just install this and stuff so maybe there is a much smarter way to do this but uh, copy Chrome URL and now it is in your clipboard we can see that if we paste it somewhere like this there it is Chrome colon tab kit colon then blah 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 we want to uh, download this file uh, we can open it first. Using pentadactyl, so just shift P uh, is the default key binding to open the URL in the clipboard. And here we can see this file. I'm not sure, maybe we can do this. Uh, just save this. Save page as. Let's save it in the home directory, tab kit JS. Saved. Now we can open it in, in uh, Sublime here, for example. Because now we will uh, modify this uh, JS file. Here, and it's kind of weird because the first lines of this file, is it a space? No, it's like um, 50 empty lines here for some reason. I don't know why, but here we can see that uh, min with constant uh, variable that is causing all the issues or causing all the issues that makes everything looks uh, look weird i changed this to 20 save this file then i select this again in the uh, chrome navigator thing here select replace we will get a warning saying that you should not replace this is not supported you don't do this do it anyway uh, find the file in our home directory, yes, open, and now we have replaced uh, uh, that resource. And now I think we need to, to restart uh, Pale Moon here. And it says Pentadactyl uh, is the uh, title, that extension sets the title of pa uh, Pale Moon. I haven't configured it yet. But if we look here now, I think it's still uh, broken. Yeah, we, it's still 50 as the min width here, but if we restart, Browser, Internet, Pale Moon. It should now uh, look a lot better when we try to resize the tabs. Okay, I lost all my open tabs there. Yeah, it, it's kind of difficult to see, but it, it does work now. Uh, we can see the, the border and, and there's a small uh, like a curve of, of the <laughs> top of the tab here. So, so this actually makes it look better. Um, let's see if we can open some. Uh, Bud Labs, whatever, just get some tabs going. Got Bud Labs YouTube. Uh, I don't know. Give me some links. Only GitHub links. Font awesome. Sure, open it. Open Wiki Arch Linux. There, now we have some tabs and they already look a lot better. They actually look quite good. Uh, but uh, I also noticed that you can uh, change the, the height of the tabs to get them even smaller. And um, I actually want that. So then we open the Chrome Navigator again. Again here, there is probably a smarter way to do this, but uh, this is what I did. Just want to show you, this can be a useful video for those who want some to do some extreme pale moon rising. Maybe this is interesting.
uh, find that tab kit again, content, and this time open the CSS file. Do the same thing, Chrome URL, open a new tab. Here is the CSS, and this this is not as crazy because that uh, JavaScript file that is like uh, ten thousand lines of, of JavaScript. It is actually readable. It's not like obfuscated and 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 stuff like that, but it, it it's it's a lot of, of JavaScript. Um, this is the CSS. That's just a couple of hundred lines, uh, and this is where I found uh, how to adjust the height of, of the uh, uh, buttons as well, and. I created a little style sheet uh, or user style that looks like this and added that to, to stylus because this is one of the best uh, or best but this is one thing that's different with with pale moon uh, and this is how uh, the old uh, um, the old firefox used to work you see here I have tabs uh, question mark because I was wasn't sure this was going to work, but it actually did work. So we enable that. Now we can see that it, it shrunk uh, uh, the tabs. Now it looks weird again, but if we make them the width even smaller here now, we get yeah this is good enough. So you kind of have to adjust the width with this guy here uh, to get it <laughs> perfect in quotation marks. Not sure if it ever is. It is kind of ugly. This uh, drag thing. I think that's the the what what comes with your GDK two theme is uh, this expander thing. And be very careful not to click this because then this happens. And that I don't know. I haven't looked into this. Maybe there is a way to to fix this. I I don't know. I mean there and then it goes I I would rather have so that if I click this it should hide this thing but instead it expands it over the whole screen so you have to be careful not to do that uh, because it's it's kind of embarrassing but here this uh, and now you can have like uh, 60 tabs or something here or maybe not 60 but say uh, 25 tabs on a 19 uh, or 1080 uh, uh, monitor height here and you can only have maybe six tabs or something if you have them horizontal this is much better and you can actually read the titles if you need to you just expand it like this this is not like terrible to do when when you have important tabs or whatever vertical tab bars are superior so i think i will end this video here um, trying to keep it concentrated i could go on a, a one hour rant about gtk uh, but i will not do that today um so we end it here and i i hope you all have had a great summer we actually got some rain uh, here today for the first time in in like weeks it's been very nice uh, summer weather here uh, whatever who cares have a great day See you. Bye-bye.